This is my problem. It is not the church's problem. It is not the sister's problem. It is my personal problem, and I very often use the internet to work through some of my issues. This is not a criticism of the church or even the sisters. This is about me and, and what I've been dealing with. Since October, my wife and I were called to be ward missionaries, and we've been going out with both the uh, sisters and the elders. But I have had to stop going out with the sisters, with my wife, because I can't handle it. I have a mood disorder. Let's blame that. It's not their fault. Because I have no argument with the First Presidency in their decision to invite all these um, younger women, it used to be 21, now it's 19, to come out into missions and th they've done so much wonderful work and they've really proven that in many instances they can reach people and do things that the elders can't do and I wholeheartedly support it. In my own mission in Venezuela when I was 19, the two best missionaries that we ever had were sisters. Man, they could, they, they were the hardest working uh, companionship in the whole mission and I admired them. There's, there's a lot to be said about the refinement of women. They, they are more naturally inclined towards spiritual things. So I welcome them. But I have a problem. <laughs> And I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. Now, I was associated as the editor of a men's group, the Mankind Project. In an international group, I've needed it in part because of my manic depression or bipolar disorder. So you could just as easily say, say to me, oh, it is your problem. I know how to work with men, but I don't know how to work with women. <laughs> Fortunately, my wife understands me and she tends to agree with some of the things I'm going to talk about. One of the things that I have observed is with this new influx of sisters coming out is that there has been a number of instances, a number, I'm not going to give all the details, where they have bucked priesthood authority. Now, young men since the age of 12 are brought into the priesthood and, and they go through a progression of, of graduating into higher offices, deacons, teachers, priests, elders, and then there's high priests. And, and so from a young age, they are trained to follow authority and to be part of understanding what it is to be a good soldier. Also in men's work you gotta understand that men like to be given marching orders. Yes sir, and then they, you know they go off and do it. Whereas women can have a tendency to question, well I don't know if that feels right. Okay, so there's another issue there. So emotional that my single biggest problem with them is, is that every couple that we, sister missionary couple that we've worked with since October of last year, has created some kind of drama. And that's the last thing I want. There was a sister we went out with. She wanted, as we were getting ready to go into a house, she wanted. She turned to a companion, her companion and said, well, should we tell them the lesson we're going to teach? And I said, well, let's just follow the Spirit. And got out of the car, and my wife got out of the car, and we're headed, headed into the home. And this sister and her companion were still sitting in the car. They finally came out, and we went in, and, and we had a great meeting with this, this investigator. But one, the one sister would, didn't say a word. The one that wondered whether we should uh, be let in on their secret of, of what their lesson was said nothing. 
And then later on, I asked her what was going on, and she said, I was jealous. Her words, she said, I felt competitive. I was sulking. And later on, she came to me, and she said, at church, oh, I really like you, Brother Bear. I, I like you a lot. And I said, well, that's fine. I'm glad you like me. But what I really care about is that there is a unity between the members and the full-time missionaries so that we can all be on the same page and defer to one another and preach the gospel together and have the Spirit there because I do not believe that the Spirit of the Lord resides in a place with contention. I don't care if she likes me. I just want to do the work. I just want to go out and meet people and have a good feeling as we do it. So another thing that I've seen is not necessarily the sister's fault, but it's a problem because they go out and find men who are attracted to them and they will do things because the sisters have asked them to do it. Not because they're getting their own experience or their own witness and reading the scriptures, the Bible and the Book of Mormon, but because the sisters are pushing them because the sisters are drawing them in and there are a lot of men that just can't resist that. I don't necessarily think consciously that they're going after men, but the men are certainly going after the sisters. My more specific problem is that when these sister missionaries get attention, then they think that, well, maybe the person's interested in our church when they're just interested in the sisters. And that's a hard thing to discern. We as men in our church, even though we're the ones with the priesthood, we have instinctively this nature to, to defer to women. Bishops will do that with the sisters. The sisters will get plum assignments and they'll get cars where our elders are on, on bicycles. Members will feed the sisters more often than the, than the elders. I mean, the elders can stand up. It's, it's not all poor elders. I'm just talking about my experience going out with the sisters. Some are then way too shy, and then there's far too many that are overcompensating to prove themselves. Oh my gosh. If a person is, is out on a mission full time, with any other reason than to love the Lord, and to love the people, and, and to share the spirit of, of, of Christ's charity with them, if they're out there to, to train to be leaders or whatever, they're out there for the wrong reason. So I was talking to um, a district leader, an elder, who told me that he needed to ride somewhere to get some medication. And uh, the sisters were just furious w with him for some small little detail about something. And they didn't take him to get his medication, and they were just, they were screaming at him. This is a good-hearted guy. And I said, Elder, you're not doing them any favors by condoning that kind of behavior. You need to nip that in the bud. And so my problem, you ready? Here's the, here's the finale. My mother was a return missionary. <laughs> she was passive-aggressive, and she masculated my father who was more than happy to let her that was his problem and this this one elder who got screamed at i'm telling him what kind of wives are they going to make and he said you know i was thinking that myself after they come on a, on a mission and disregarding the the order of the lord and his priesthood and the government uh, of god on earth and and they're just like these free angry spirits my father married one. I take full responsibility for my struggle, and I am repenting. And I have fallen to my knees and prayed to the Lord and asked Him to forgive whatever annoyances that I might have so that I can love all the missionaries equally. <laughs>